I'm the Hooded Lid and welcome to my channel. Today I'm just kind of hitting a couple of, you know, specific things, like I just did eyebrows and they're enormous. Well, I just did them a couple of hours ago. I, I kind of don't mind it. I thought it would freak me out a little bit, but I, I don't think they look incredibly natural. So anyway, that's not what we're here for. What we're here for is the lips. Recently I was thinking, wouldn't it be nice if companies made blank? And as a matter of fact, I would love to hear from you what you oftentimes think, wouldn't it be nice if companies made blank? One of the things I thought would really be wonderful and needed is concealer that you could put around your nose that wouldn't rub off with your glasses. And funnily enough, I mentioned that because uh, I didn't check. I gotta tell you something, the foundation I'm wearing today is holding on pretty well. I didn't even put concealer there and the rub off isn't too egregious, but I'll be right back. I am gonna fix it. Back. A little better, right? The other thing I was thinking, I swear to God this is true in the past couple of weeks, I'm like, why don't they make a liquid lip liner? The reason I'm interested in having a liquid lip liner is because I want something very, very specific. Something that won't fall into the teeny little lines when I'm trying to line it out. And something I can really get just specifically what I want. I find lip pencils can be um, too creamy or too hard. Sometimes it's too sharp and sometimes it's too dull. The only reason that matters to me is because as I've gotten older, my lips have changed. Um, to be more specific, this side of my face is kind of falling, so this lip looks thinner than this one, and it makes me a little crazy. I've always had a fuller lower lip than upper lip, and that's not a problem, but this bothers me a lot. A couple of years ago, I actually went to get lip injections because it bothered me so much, and that's where she told me, it's not your lip, it looks like this is falling. So if I were to you know, take something clean and lift this up a little bit, you can see how this is now even, but I can't walk around like this. So I want to overline the slightest bit, and it's tough. I know some people do it easily, and if your lips are even, like if you are just looking to overline the top lip entirely, it's easier to do. But if one side of your lip is uneven, it's a little harder. My lower lips are kind of uneven too, not so bad, but that's more about how I speak. Like I tend to move my mouth to the side for some reason. Anyway. Long story short, I was at Sephora the other day, there was a Dior rep there, and we were looking at the things that were coming up, and they didn't have them out yet, but they have some new lipsticks coming up, and then she pointed out this to me, and I was like, tell me more. This is what she pointed out to me. I would tell you what it is, but the print is so small, I can't even read it with my glasses, and my magnifying uh, glass is in the other room. But I'll put it down below, and this is a felt tip. It's freaking brilliant. I looked it up on Sephora and a lot of people are using it just as a lip stain. And it is a stain. But this is a great, great liner if you're looking to get very, very specific. Um, unfortunately, they don't have a lot of great colors. This is probably close to my lip color. It's in Rosewood. I'm going to bring you in and show you how I use it. I just got it the other day. so. You know, there's a little bit of a learning curve, but I just think this is such a great, great idea for those of us who are a little challenged by our lips and want to overline to even them up. I'm going to move you in now. Hmm. I wish I could go in closer to show you this. The outside of your lip is naturally lined by something called the vermilion. My vermilion is quite pronounced, so if you were to feel your lips, you can feel them kind of turn up a little bit. That edge is vermilion. When you, when I put a liner on that vermilion, I can say, okay, I look even now, but because the vermilion is so pronounced, it moves forward. When things move forward, they look lighter because light is hitting them. It's a very tricky and difficult 
challenge for the lips. I'm going to line outside my vermilion. So right here is the vermilion. Now one way to see if you're even is to lift up your head and just see if it's even from side to side. I'm going to do that now so you, you might not be able to see what I'm doing. So this is pretty much even, and this lip stain actually stains. So you can put any lipstick you want, you know, within reason, and you're going to be good to go. Um, my lower lip, interestingly enough, has a double line. You can choose the upper line or the lower line, but as you get older, you, uh, well, you lose kind of muscle and tone in this area, and you can develop what is lovingly referred to as resting bitch face. So if I were to do my lower line, it would end up being quite straight to down when my face is relaxed. So I prefer to do the upper line and make the lower a little more pouty. And you can see my lower line is not emphasized at all either. So I'm going to put some down here. My, this is still my lip. I'm not going outside my vermilion. It's just for some reason, there's no pigmentation there. So I start with the middle, and you can lay this on the side when you're not being that specific. And I am also, I'm just following where my pigmentation is the color of the lip as opposed to the second lip line which is a little lower. So it's pretty even from my view. I hope it is from yours. And there's another way to check, which I don't want to do because it's so unflattering, but I'm going to do it for the sake of science. And that is look down and see what's going on here. Now, when you start overlining and you get to the edge, it can get a little tricky because you can end up making your upper lip much bigger than your lower lip. So I stop lining. I don't take it all the way to the end. I think this product is just amazing. I'm so in love with it. It's not a new product. Um, it came out, as far as I can tell, there were reviews going back I, at least six months, but nobody's talking about this. And maybe nobody has these same issues as I do, but this is brilliant if you have uneven lips, you're getting older and you have lines in your lips, it's not going to bleed into it, it's not going to rub off when you're drinking coffee or kissing or whatever it is you may do, it's going to stay. So now I'm just going to put on a color that's within this range. Um, well, let's do a color that's not entirely within this range. I'm going to do something that is a brownish tone. There. So that's what happens if you use a lip that doesn't actually match this liner. It's not horrible looking. It's not ideal. And it's also worth noting, this isn't going to do anything for you if you use a lip liner to stop your lipstick from bleeding, because this isn't a wax, it's a stain. And if bleeding is what your problem is, this is not going to be your answer. But if uneven lips is your problem and it's so hard for you to get very specific with your overlining, this is a fantastic tool. I'm a big fan and I wanted to share. So I hope that was interesting and maybe helpful for you. I appreciate you spending some time with me and I hope you come back again. 
In the meantime, I'm wishing you a great day.